What was that? that? No, they they weren't together. Yeah, well, they, they have to be. be next to each other. Okay, sorry, sorry. All right. Two Those eights. weren't together. They were together. The two oh, eights were together. Yeah. Is that what I think it is? It has to be, right? What, what is it doing here? I don't know. But these things always lead to bonus zones with, with lots of gold coins and treasures. You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna get no, all no, those no, coins. No, no, no. Brandon, don't take all the coins. <laughs> This doesn't look like a bonus zone. No. It looks like a sewer. Where are all the coins? And what is that? Oh, I think I found something. Oh, is it a treasure? No. This is not a game, it's real no, life! This is a real sewer! Ah. I don't know what is going on! Oh, oh, yeah. oh hey, hey, welcome to the so-and-so show. I'm John. <laughs> hey, he's Brandon, and I hope you are ready for an exciting episode. Ah. Still can't make it. No. Well, sorry, let me catch you up. Um, oh. Brandon got a new video game three days ago. Blue Pose Adventure. Blue Pose Adventure. And he's been stuck on the same level for... Two days. Two days! Two days. I can't get through it. I get to the part where I ride my crammel into the pyramid, and then I explode. It happens every time. Every time. Everything I've looked up online says I should ride my crammel into the pyramid, but it's not working. Yeah, you explode. I explode! Uh -huh. Crammel, pyramid, explode. Every time. Every, Every time I do it. Uh-huh. So, <sighs> so, of course, he's a little stressed and distracted. I feel like a failure. Oh. You know, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to get past this level. I keep telling him that video games are supposed to be fun. Does it look like I'm having fun? I keep telling him that he's a really good video game player, and just because he's having problems with this one doesn't mean that he's losing his ability to play. Hmm? I'll never play again! So I did what I had to do. I decided to bring on a video game expert. What? An yeah. expert? Yeah. Well, please welcome someone who knows stuff. Did someone call me? Ah, uh, yes, I think so. Are you supposed to be the expert on Blue Pose Adventure? Yep. Oh. oh. Okay, great, come on in. Yeah, um, have a seat. This is a special seat for our guests. And oh, you brought a briefcase, that's pretty cool. Uh, would you mind telling them out there who you are and what you know? I'm Brianna. I'm the current speed and points record holder on Blooper's Adventure. I can beat the entire game in 38 minutes and 42 seconds. Oh. How old are you? 12, how old are you? You can beat the entire game in 38 minutes? And 42 seconds. That's without taking any warp zones or skipping any levels. Mm. So, who keeps exploding in the pyramid? Well, that, is, that is that guy. It yep. happens. <laughs> I have something that can help. Mm. Oh. You have the glamour glove? Got it for my birthday. It's a game changer. <laughs> oh. Since I beat the game, we can skip straight to the pyramid level. Just do. Exactly as I say. Okay, I'm not sure I can. It's okay. You'll be fine. Okay. Push the start button. Run. Back jump. Side flip. Side flip. Grab the power boost. Go. Go! Okay. Turbo run! Turbo run! Okay, I'm trying! Now, punch the four flowers. Huh, what? Punch the four flowers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, get on the crammer. Okay. But you gotta hurry! Go! Okay. The door's about to close! Oh, 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 oh. Go! He, he's going! I'm he's going. going! Keep going! Ah. Go! Ah. And that's how you don't explode. Let me know if you ever need any more help. Thank you. Oh. Here's your glove back. You can borrow it. I think you may need it more than I do. Bye! You beat the level. 
Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. I think we should move on. I think so too. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, that was intense. That's one word for it. Do you feel better? Do you feel like you have more confidence that you can beat the entire game? Not really. Hmm. Well, I've got a story that might help, but I would also love a hand if you don't mind. Why, Why not? not? Perfect. It's time now for live action flannel graph. Today's story happened after Jesus had already died, been resurrected, and gone back to heaven. I know, a lot had happened. After that, Jesus' disciples started telling others about Jesus. And two of those disciples were John and Peter. One day, as Peter and John were walking up to the temple to pray, Who knew the temple was so far away? <laughs> hey, let's take a break. I'll race you. Okay. <laughs> a man who hadn't walked in more than 40 years reached out to them. Help! Oh, oh. hello there. You wouldn't happen to have any spare change, would you? I actually don't have any pockets. We don't have any silver and gold, but I can give you what we do have. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. I can stand. I can walk. I can jump! <gasps> I can do gymnastics! That's great! Uh, we're going to continue on to the temple. I'll go too! <sighs> Praise God! Praise Jesus! The man continued with John and Peter right into the temple dancing and praising God. Let's just say they made quite a scene because people recognized the man who had sat for so many years outside the temple begging for change. Peter, who had seen Jesus do this so many times before, decided to use this opportunity to tell others about him. John and I didn't heal this man. The God of our fathers did. This man's legs we're healed because of faith in Jesus' name. Look, I can dance. Very nice. I'm pretty sure John and the man didn't do a choreographed dance routine, but Peter's words and the fact that the man was completely healed drew an enormous crowd into the temple. And when they saw the man and heard what Peter had to say, thousands of people began to believe in Jesus. Well, that made the religious leaders very unhappy. So they had John and Peter thrown into jail. And then they had them brought in front of them the very next day. Hear me, hear me. I have a question for you. Whose power allowed you to heal this man? I'm healed. Watch me dance. <laughs> no, no more dancing. Okay. And in whose name did you do it? Can you see him? No. Uh, oh, oh, what? excuse me. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, Oh, sorry. Uh, wait, you got caught in my rope. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa! I'm, okay. Dear rulers and elders of the people, do you want to know why we were kind to a man who could not walk? Are you asking why he was healed? Yes. 
Do you remember Jesus, the one you had crucified? Can you hurry up? You're really getting heavy. Oh, oh sorry. God raised Jesus from the dead, and it is in his name that this man was healed. I'm healed. Watch me do gymnastics. No! No more gymnastics! Okay. It is obvious that being with Jesus has changed you, and uh, we can't say you didn't heal this man. I'm healed! Watch me dance! No! Okay. It's obvious that you did something. So, we will give you a warning. A warning? Yes, a warning. You may not talk about Jesus again, or you're in big trouble. Well, I hate to tell you. Yeah. Uh. 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 I hate to tell you, but we're probably going to talk about Jesus again. Yeah, we have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. Well, then just leave. Get out of here. Watch me dance. The end. Let's give our flannel graphers a big round of applause. Okay, real quick. Do you think Peter and John had the strength to stand in front of these religious leaders all by themselves? No, no way. Absolutely. It's because they were both filled with God's Holy Spirit. They knew God was with them. And no matter what happened, God would never leave them. So if that doesn't give you confidence? Nothing will. Yeah. I agree. And what's cool is the Holy Spirit can be with us too. When we choose to follow Jesus, God promises to be with us always. Boom! <laughs> Boom indeed. Well, that's all I got. So until next time, I'm out of here. You know what? Mm. I think I've got my confidence back to go conquer the video game by myself. That's my boy. <laughs> all right. But first, you know what we got to do. I do. Mm -hmm. Oh. Reveal the question. Mm, uh, <laughs> we should do that more often. I know. That's cool. When have you felt under pressure? You mm. know, I'd say earlier with Brianna was pretty stressful. Huh. Lots of pressure. How about you? Oh, I can't stand taking tests. Even an eye exam feels like pressure to perform. I, I never can decide which one's better. One or two, one or two, one or two, one or two. I think two. they're all the same. Two is better. Oh, really? Yeah. Or, or when you're meeting someone for the first time, that can feel like pressure because you don't want to act like a buffoon. Well, I just right? assume I'm going to act like a buffoon. It takes the pressure right off. That's a good tip. Thank yeah. you. But you know what? God promises to be with us always, buffoon or not. Oh, I know. And I'm counting on it. <laughs> Good show today, John. Hey, thank you. You too, Brandon. Except for that one part. <laughs> wait, wait, what? We'll see you guys next time for a brand new show. What part are you talking about? Well, you told me it was two. That was the part? Right, you gotta get in there, Brandon. You gotta get in there. I'm getting, I'm going. Nah, 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 you gotta keep pushing farther. You gotta do another backflip. Oh. Gotta get a backflip, there oh. you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, ladies <laughs> and All right, now, spit. There you go. Look at that. Look at that result there. Oh, the dodge, move and dodge. I actually drive a Chrysler. There's some from the computer. There you go. Exactly. That was so. That's so inefficient. Yo, oh, Crabble, go! What's the crabble? crabble! What are we doing? Yo, Crabble! I love you! <laughs> <laughs>